This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, market surged with the Dow closing above 40,000 for just the second time as investors are feeling confident that a rate cut from the Federal Reserve is just around the corner. Investors are finally realizing that everything is suddenly going the Fed's way. Chair Jerome Powell said as much in testimony to Congress, and that was before the Consumer Price Index and the Producer Price Index confirmed that the disinflationary trend is back. Thursday's CPI unexpectedly showed that prices declined outright in June, dipping one-tenth of one percent versus a one-percent, one-tenth of one percent forecast. That lowered the 12-month inflation rate to three percent from 3.3 percent. On Tuesday, the Powell said the labor market appears to be fully back in balance and no longer a source of inflationary pressure. The implication is that any further cooling of the labor market would be unwanted and could speed up the pace of rate cuts. Can you say Fed put? The Federal Reserve is widely expected to hold rates steady at its meeting later this month, but traders on Friday were pricing in a 94% chance that the central bank will cut interest rates in September. Now, all three major indices rose on the week. The Dow was up 1.6%, while the S&P and NASDAQ each climbed six-tenths of 1%. However, their moves paled in comparison to almost everything else. Small cap value stocks climbed over 5%. Real estate investment trusts were up close to 5%. Mid-cap value stocks rose almost 4%, while every other asset class, from small company growth stocks to emerging markets, were up over 2% on the week. Additionally, bond yields fell as bond prices rose, making it not only a great week to be alive, but especially if you are a diversified long-term investor. The only fly in the ointment is sentiment. Sentiment indicators are all showing elevated bullishness, which typically signals a short-term bearish outlook for the market. However, this time may be different given that a significant amount of money, that's $6.15 trillion by the latest count, is parked in short-term money market funds. With the S&P 500 up 18% year-to-date, the 5% money market yield is no longer as exciting as it seemed at the beginning of the year. And some investors may be experiencing FOMO, you know, the fear of missing out. So if, or should I say when, the Fed lowers interest rates, it could unleash, in the words of former Fed Chairman Alan Greenspan, a wave of irrational exuberance, or what I call a financial melt-up. 